Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the 2020 challenge. I'm going to be building a guitar that you designed in 20 hours and 20 minutes. Burn it. Ah, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Not bad. You're looking at accounts, I'd rather be me today. Yeah, all good. So, uh, 18 hours, 52 minutes. So those two excess pieces are big enough to do a, a part of a neck or something at some point. Okay, so what was going through my mind there was, do I wing it and cut the excess off and save me a journey downstairs um, or not? And I'm gonna say not because I want to glue the fretboard down and uh, all of that jazz. Now, what I am going to do right now though is pause because we're changing a battery. I'm gonna pause. We're changing batteries on the camera and on the audio, so pause. Okay, we're good to go, 18.51 and 41, 40. Can you see that from there? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just, there we go, 18.51, 33. Okay, <clears throat> masking tape and super glue trick. This is a very good way to, uh, did you see me avoid uh, splinters there? That didn't work. It kind of messed up a little bit. Okay, masking tape all the way along. Masking tape all the way along. Come on. Okay, because double-sided tape, for the most part, is just evil. It just either doesn't work, it slips, or it um, leaves residue. Uh, that's just not good. So, super glue. Accelerator. And this lines up with the line that I want. Now what I shouldn't really have done is make this cut. Um, I wasn't thinking straight. So now I've got that on and uh, <coughs> we're just gonna go over and uh, use the rash tip. Okay, so the height is done. That's locked off so it doesn't move. The bearing is running along. 18 hours, 47 minutes to go. That's mask. This is that health and safety violation I was telling you about. Okay, we're good, we're on, we're good. So that little bit there at the end uh, is problematic. That's where that little bandsaw, the bandsaw itself is fine, but uh, the blade I've had on there for too long and uh, it just wasn't meaty enough to, uh, to cut through this paduke. So uh, it wandered a little bit, unfortunately. And uh, uh, it's just a little bit too close to the line. So I might have to do a little bit of remedial work there. Let's move all of this so I can actually use my bin properly. Uh, okay, so we're halfway there. We've got uh, one side done. Actually, that, I put my template on the wrong line anyway. Woohoo! <sighs> Okay, so masking tape. 
So this really is uh, faster than me using the hand plane and then having to re-glue uh, wings on the side of the headstock, etc. Okay, because this is so long and wood is relatively flexible, I'm putting it down from one side to the other just to make sure. We're good. We're good. We're good. We even use this to hold things onto CNC machines and put through planar thicknesses and stuff. It's just so useful. 18 hours, 39 minutes. Double checking that. We're all good. All right, we have 18 hours, 35 minutes to go. And uh, you are receiving a masterclass in uh, how to rush. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick mini tidy up. So the masking tape comes off. Now this is a very cool vice. I got mine from uh, uh, Workshop Heaven. Matter Workshop Heaven's a pretty cool dude. The whole vice. Angles, the, the jaws angle uh, through, it's just, just very, very useful. Okay, so, not blank. Probably gonna go carbon fiber for the nut blank. And that's gonna be that's gonna be there. Whew. Oh yeah, that'll be fine, okay. So yeah, essentially. You can't really see it, but I'm putting a little bit of a twist in here. Beautiful. Almost, almost time for coffee. And the question is, should I have coffee whenever I think about it? Or should coffee be a reward for, I don't know, achieving something? Where's the, where's the fun in there? Okay, I have it. Where are we? Uh, 18 hours, 28 minutes. So we are nearing the end of hour two. So, mm, I don't know if it's gonna work because this is so long. The thought I had earlier was to hold this on the router table and basically go and use that as a, as a reverse thicknesser, I suppose. Which is fine here because I've got lots of space. But as I get off, I'm running low and that's hanging in mid-air. Uh, I could, I could do that for half of that and then put a piece of MDF there. MDF, six mil something. <sighs> yeah, that'll work, all right. Okay. Block off, power off. This, uh, so the route is great. It won't, it won't let you uh, pull it up out of the table with the power on because that would lock the chuck and thus destroy the, the whole thing. See, the chuck is now locked. Okay, we're good.
actually. It's not about being absolutely precise with, with millimeters, etc. It's about matching to what you have. So instead of me measuring six mil, is measure the material. Perfect. Okay. So we're back to this. Um, this is going to be what I glue to the side. Um, glue. Whatever. That's your math. Don't judge me. No way. That's pretty much all the internet does. Judge away. Okay, so that is that is the height I want. Now lock it off just to make sure it doesn't move. Let's just bandsaw off a piece. 18 hours, 22 minutes. So, <clears throat> so we're prepar preparing basically for uh, for this extraction. Okay, so do not forget that this guitar, this guitar could be yours. It is a competition. I am going to be giving it away to somebody who goes through crimsonguitars.com and purchases something in the sale that we currently have going on throughout the month of January 2020. Um, every 10 pounds you spend with us, be it on a tool or a course or um, a fret rubber or a tool or a course, what else do you sell? Guitar building tools and courses. <laughs> um, or a guitar, we sell guitars, there we go, I completely forgot that. Um, every 10 pounds you spend enters you into a, a competition to win this guitar, um, if you fancy it. So there we go. Um, we're actually now at 18 hours, 20 minutes, 45 seconds. So quite frankly, that's it. It's time for a coffee. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a little break and have some coffee. So it's time to pause this. Ah, pause, there we go. Now that's not something I wanna do. <laughs> Think I've hit the pause button and not pause it. Uh, 18 hours, 20 minutes, 22 seconds to go. Um, time for another coffee. We're back. So that's the third one. That's actually a bit hot holding there like that, ouch. It's more of a challenge just letting the thing run through all of these stops and things, but, uh, but we're not going to do that this time. Eighteen hours, twenty minutes, sixteen seconds. Um, and by the time I finish routing this, we're going to be uh, good to go. Okay, so if this messes up, I just have to put uh, <clears throat> a slight angle on things, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. But. Uh, I don't want to mess it up, so so let's not mess it up, okay? Fine, yeah, we're all good. We're not, remember? I turn it off. Aha. We are at exactly six millimeters. We are at exactly the thickness of that. So we're good. Okay, nice and flat. So now we should carry on same as before. So, Mr. Luthier. This coffee-addled luthier forgot about the thickness of the tape because he is foolish. I'm trying to build a guitar in 20 hours, 20 minutes. We've got 18 hours and 12 minutes left and this is what I have to show for it. Uh, obviously through neck and uh, in progress. We're gonna have Paduke shavings and dust and stuff just everywhere. But that is only right and good. Okay, so um, I did forget to think about the thickness of the, um, the masking tape there, which was a bit silly. That's not too much of an issue because we can. Ha! Paduke mallet. 
BC Woodworks, thebcwoodworks.co.uk. Fantastic tool maker. Uh, that's okay though, because I'm going to go through and just clean that down. Okay, it's time for a fretboard. It's time for a tidy up, actually. It's time for a coffee. Haha! -ha. Uh, it's time to pause, actually. Let's let's pause. Uh, I, I have drunk far too much coffee. Uh, 18 hours, 9 minutes, 53 seconds to go. Uh, coffee. Yes, I'm going to drink the coffee before I click resume because I'm cheeky. Okay. Ah, well, not cheeky. 18 hours, 9 minutes and 45 seconds. So, that's planed. Now, yes, the eagle-eyed among you noticed what my total, complete and utter mistake was. I should not have cut that slice of paduk off here. Yeah. That, I should have just routed it all away and it would have been fully supported on the router table. I, I don't like wasting wood and my thought was, oh, I could use that piece of paduk for something. Uh, bad idea. But still, we've got bags of time. I am not worried. Slightly worried. So that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Really, what we need to do now is, I often tape over the top to stop any glue getting in during the gluing process. Um, and everybody else I know just doesn't do that. So I'm just gonna, Put a tiny little dab of super glue and uh, put that in like that. But uh, masking tape rolled over so the sticky side is out. Um, now, what this does is it compresses when you've got the fretboard on and stops any rattling when you don't actually have any tension on the truss rod. It's not essential, but it's just something that. I do and I like doing. Okay, so here is my fretboard. Ah, cool. <laughs> um, should probably just use the plans, really, shouldn't I? Where are we? Nope. No. Oh, ha, I gave them away. The plans are all downstairs. Okay. Fine. In that case, in that case, I'm going to only draw on the one side. Give me a ruler. Oh, next to my standing number two. I like my standing number two. Yes, I have a weakness. Okay, so I just lined that up with, with the nut line there. And we've chopped excess off. And then essentially we're gonna glue this in place there, trim it down to size, and then trim it down to this cut here uh, by eye. Because it's, well, anything else is superfluous, to be honest. Bands off. Okay. So there we go. I have I have a position. And all I need to do is glue that down and stuff. The problem really is. Problem is, what am I going to do while that's gluing up? Because I don't have very long. Okay. Now, what I'm struggling with is normally I would have locating pins located in the 
uh, in the fret slots because normally we will have a fretboard that we've pre-slotted using a jig. I'm going to be cutting these fret slots by hand um, because you wonderful people, did you notice the pain there? I, I, uh, I, I pinched myself, it was really sore. You wonderful people voted for a fan fretboard, so I'm going to be doing that by hand. And I want to do that when it's on a neck so I can clamp it in vices and, um, and all of that jazz. So. I'm also going to roughly, roughly cut this to size. There. You there. That's much easier. All right. Okay, so this is a, a, a radius block uh, that we make and sell at Crimson. Buy one for your chance to win this guitar. Um, I'm clamping something flat down to something flat, but uh, if you've got a slight radius on it, it's going to push the edges out and make sure that it's um, adhered on either side of the truss rod, which is really what we want to make happen. Okay. Now, when I'm doing this, I like having the neck hanging out over the edge of the, the bench. So I need you guys to let me know in the comments below how you are enjoying the build so far. What do you think of the insanity of trying to do it in this time scale? And uh, also, let me know what you voted for. Um, the second I came up with the idea, I thought, yeah, it's going to be about as difficult as it could be. My, my, my faith is you know, well placed. <sighs> okay, now all of this is perfectly flat stock. Uh, it's all been through uh, through our thicknesser here and is just spot on. So um, normally, in a normal build, uh, that might well have been part of the process, uh, getting it flat and doing all of that, but um, somewhat, somewhat cheated, I suppose by starting with pre-thickness stock, uh, but also with this neck, I haven't had to check that it's nice and flat and straight because it's nice and flat and straight. Okay, now. The only line I care about is, well, there's two lines. I wanna make sure that it's going over the edge of the fretboard or the, over the edge of the neck. And I want to make sure that I'm lined up properly with this line where my nut is going. And we are. So with that in place, with that in place, I can now go through and, and add some more clamps. So where are we? Uh, basically 18 hours, so two hours and 20 minutes in, we have a neck blank that is nearly complete. I am going to be preparing the, the piece of wood for the back of the body now. 
and trying to plan what's going to happen next. Because I've allowed myself to do very little beyond the blue sky concept kind of thing uh, in my head prior to this build. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, though, before before anything else, is stop for lunch. I'm not going to have another coffee off the tally, and uh, let this dry for a bit. Uh, here's a quick tip before I do that. Uh, when you do um, glue something up, especially if you're in a build like this, just write down the time so that you've got a, an accurate um, measure of when it was all done. So, 12 o'clock. Back in a second, 1755, 24. 